Hi, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to make a simple 808 style kick drum using Ableton Live's operator. So in the instruments pane I'm going to double click operator and play a G0. I'm going to use that as the bass pitch for my kick drum. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to um, bring this sustain all the way down and change the mode to trigger so I get that burst. Oh, it's already sounding percussive so I'll add a pitch envelope um, by enabling this here and moving that to 100% I'll put the initial um, pitch to 48 semitones and the peak pitch as well and I'll put this on to trigger mode and bring the decay right the way down and you can just use your ears to adjust that. Now I need to mix this signal with a burst of white noise so I'm going to do that on operator B. Now um, if I select this uh, noise looped that is kind of like pre-filtered noise so I won't have to touch this filter part here. So if I bring that level up you can actually hear the noise modulating, frequency modulating operator A. So I don't want that because I want them to be mixed together. So I'll have to change the algorithm down here. Now, um, so really what I want is operator A, B and C to be mixed together and then operator D will frequency modulate them. So that's this one here. Now, what I've got at the moment is that, so as you can hear, the noise um, is uh, sustaining for longer than we want. So I'll bring that all the way down and select trigger mode. I'll bring the decay right the way down. So it's just a little burst. And I'll put it on a fixed frequency and adjust the tone of the kick drum. So about there. And then finally, on operator D, um, I will, uh, so I'll frequency modulate those first two operators. So if I bring the level up, you can hear that frequency modulation. And basically what that's doing, it's just adding um, harmonic density to the sound. But I only really want that sound for the transient. So for the first 20 milliseconds of the sound. So I'll bring the sustain all the way down. I'll select trigger mode and take the decay right the way down and again just use your ears to adjust that to your taste and if you want some extra bite you can change this phase to 25% so this sine wave starts its phase at, um, at a peak so you get more of that click and then you can just play around with the levels to tweak it to how you want the sound to be and playing around with a pitch envelope can have a really significant impact on the overall sound of the kick. Cool. So once you're happy with that, you can add some EQ, some compression, some saturation until you're truly happy with the sound and it fits in your mix really well. Thanks for watching and I'll see you again soon.